It's a triumphant entry, Hosanna. The Lord God Almighty has done it again. The Lord has done it again. The Lord has done it again. The Lord has done it again. The triumphant entry to the Lord. We give you glory, Lord. Lord, we lift up your name. We are full of praise. Be exalted, O Lord, my God. Hosanna in the Ah, yes. Lord, we lift your holy name. Lord, we lift up your name. 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 We lift up your name.
Shout Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the house. Lift your voice, everyone in the house, anywhere that you are listening to us from, in any part of this world, lift up your voice. The Air the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords, the Glorious One. Lord, we lift your holy name. Lord, we lift up your name. We will lift your name in higher prices. We the heart Be exalted, be exalted, be exalted, Lord. Hey, Masata Parabakaya Narabarabara. Ebra shaka para bata satara baba baru busuduya. Oh, Master, we give you glory. Lord, we lift up your holy name. Lord, we lift up your name. With my heart full of praise. Harakadus. Shema al kadru akapara baya dara 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 baka ya para bata dara dara dara. We vote to the Lord. We vote to the Lord. We vote to the Lord. Just we vote to the Lord. Just we vote to the Lord. Anywhere at the sound of my voice, we vote to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hosanna in the high. Hosanna in the highest. We vote to Him. We vote to the Lord. The one who was and who is and is going to come, Hosanna in the highest. Oh, thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the gift of life. Hosanna in the highest, Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Lord. We thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. King of kings and the Lord of lords. The ancient of all the days and the release of the valleys. The rose of Shalom, I am that I am. Our knees are down this afternoon, O oh Lord. This morning, this night, this day. Postray before thy greatness. Postray before thy supremacy. Postray before thy awesomeness. What oh, a mighty God that we serve. All kings have come and they are formed. Every valley will be assaulted. And Lord, many things have happened here in this world, but you still remain the same God yesterday, even today, now and forever. Here we are, Lord God, our right, we've come before thy throne this very time. Do only what that you can do. Lord, as the whole world is in panic, you alone is the source of our resources. You alone is the source of our strength. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my King. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let any man, woman, Lord, I have taken time this time of the day to seek thy presence and to listen to you, O Lord. Let the angels of the Lord circumvent around any man, any woman that is under the sound of my voice this morning. Thank you, God, for the angels that are ready to and fro right now here in our midst. Let our name be praised, O oh God. Pass not the man of us. This precious family. Pass not us by, O oh God. You are my Savior. Ah, my 
as even the people that you trusted that when times look like this come God they can help us oh God they themselves are in their rooms and in their houses oh God they don't have solution to this world problem and Lord we know that we have reached our extremity we have reached our limit we have come to a point God that we can't do any other thing you are our savior you promised us that we should call you in times of trouble and God you will hear us and you show up if there is any time God to call you in this 21st century oh God then Jehovah it is this time because you are our savior our savior our savior here the gift of life we thank you for such a wonderful great opportunity given to us to come before thy presence you are not a man that you will lie and the son of God that you are going to speak with that action God this is the moment and this is the time we have come before thee Lord with the whole world trouble unless you come and rescue us from the hands of the evil one Lord practically we can do nothing here therefore in you we will live therefore in you we will move therefore in you we will have our being we thank you we thank you for being our Lord thank you for your saving power Thank you for the power of redemption. Thank you for the great work on the cross. Let this Passion Week be an extraordinary Passion Week for us. It's something God that we've never lived before. We never met it, oh God, that a day like Good Friday is going to come. That Christians, we can't be together. We can't be together in a room and celebrate you, oh Lord. We have not experienced it before. It is new to us, oh Lord. But the things we don't know are the things we say we should call you in times of trouble and you will show to us. For all secret things belong to you. But those ones that you have revealed is for us and our children. We have not experienced it before, oh God. When men have their freedom, when man is strong, when man is healthy, when man is strong and fit, but still man cannot move anyhow. Man cannot do anything for himself. When even your love, once you meet them, you can't even shake their hands, Lord. We've never experienced this thing before, Lord. But your word is forever settled in heaven. Your word is yea and amen. Therefore, we thank you for your word that has comfort our spirits, that has comfort our souls, that in moments and in times like this, 
you show up mightily thank you for showing up mightily in our lives we thank you for your grace that will be sufficient let our name be praised Jesus let our name be honored even now and forever give your wife give your husband a half five give him a check and tell him that Hosanna 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 love him love her for me and welcome him or her once again this day the triumphant entry service triumphant entry in its own special way a moment and a time like this that we can go out and take our palm and wave to the king of kings and the lord of lords they can restrict us not to go out but they cannot restrict our spirits the gospel is not chain hallelujah therefore this morning this afternoon this night any part of this world you are hearing me i want to just encourage you child of god don't give up press on and move on in times like this the whole world is depressed there is confusion everywhere the more you turn to news the more you are being scared any page that you go you will hear death everyone is depressed doctors don't know what to do again scientists are being disappointed technical no help people presidents are crying prime ministers are crying any part that you go there is a panic and this pandemic period that the whole world is being shut off and shut down that is the time that we need to go back to our maker COVID-19 has caused a standstill in life and there is nothing that is moving on but the extremity when man reach a point that he can't do anything that is the time that we see the hand of the Lord God Almighty and we can say that it will not come we have no right to decide so in the course of praying and praying and praying last week god told us that we should stand firm and see in moments like this there are certain things that you need to know you need not to just walk around i am born again christians i am powerful i am anointed i am gifted don't walk around people you need to apply certain principles because the whole world is confused the whole world is depressed and depression is a result of fear anybody who is depressed is because you are afraid anytime that fear comes in you'll be depressed so i came this afternoon to take depression out of your life suppression out of your life and by the time that i'm out with you this morning i tell you by the power of the holy ghost through the true perspective of the lord by the higher authority there shall be deliverance in your spirit. There shall be deliverance in your soul. There shall be deliverance in your body. Fear is defined as lack of confidence. If you don't have confidence in your God, then you will be afraid. But I am here to challenge you that this is the time to apply the word. Any word of the Lord that you have been taught, this is the time to apply it. Either be it the logos or the rima, the written or the spoken word. This is the time that you should go back to the archives of your spirit and bring the word out. This is the time. Therefore, this triumphant entry day that the whole world is celebrating the entrance of our Lord and our Master Jesus in the land of Jerusalem. To prove to the whole world that you can't hide him. He has cut many people. He has helped many people. He has helped many people. He has healed many people. He has given many people food to eat. Some were hiding in their quarters. Some were hiding in their rooms. But a day like this will come that you can hide. You will come out and celebrate him. Therefore, I came in this afternoon with a very strong message from the Lord that this is the time to apply the word. This is the time to apply the word. If you don't have the word of the Lord in you this moment, you'll be the most miserable one. This is the time to apply the word. It's not the time to let anybody deceive you with any other prophecy. This is the time to go back to the spoken word and the written one and get to know some of the mysteries, the reason why certain things are happening. Therefore, Shall we turn our Bible to the book of Isaiah chapter 45?
taking from the 22nd verse through the 25th verse. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 22 to 25. If you are there, shout a very big amen. Let us hear the word of the Lord. The whole world have suffered this thing before. When men think that they can do whatever that they want to do and go score free. As our world is filled with a lot of atrocities. Abominable and detestable things that need not to happen. Are the things we are practicing. You see a man kissing a man, a woman kissing a woman. You see people marrying their daughters, people marrying their sons. The whole world is full of evil. So any time that the world comes to this time and we can't do anything, people, let me tell you, the Lord have a way of dealing with his people. And he knows that time like this will come. All what that we see are detestable. They are all abominable things that we see every blessed day. Parliament go and sit down. And what are they debating on? They are debating of if a man can kiss a man. They are debating upon if Stephen can marry Philip. They are debating of if Constant can marry Bernice. Which part of the Bible allow you to do that? As you are doing such an evil act in the generation, what do you expect? But the word of the Lord forever stands sure. The word of the Lord is forever true. Nothing changes the word of God. You can change, but the world can never change. Hallelujah. One on the one, and the only thing that God cannot do is to change his word. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. And then God, in his word, he came to the prophet Isaiah. And he told him that, Isaiah, tell the people, verse number 22, tell to me and be saved. Look at your husband, your wife, and your husband, you have to tell that, hey, Family, let us turn to God, we will be saved. Let us turn to God and we will be saved. There is nowhere that there is salvation at the moment. Because almost every president is calling God. There is nowhere to be saved. But God says that turn to me and be saved. All the ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is no other. I am God. Tell to me, and you'll be saved. Is the word not crying for Savior? Is the word not crying for help? Is the word not crying for a solution to this COVID-19? Is not what the word is crying for? But I have answered to the whole world, Prime Ministers. Let us call unto the Lord, and the Lord is going to save us. That is his word. He says, call on me, tell to me, and be saved. All the earth, all the earth, all the earth. I read one of the articles by one of the presidents. He says that the people that are going, we can't fix them. But when the economy is down, we can fix the economy. How do you fix somebody that life has been taken? We can't fix the people. But when the economy is very poor and bad, we as human, we can fix the economy. But the people that are going, we can't fix them. The man is desperate. One prime minister who came up and said, and I quote him, I am panicking. They told me to be mentally strong. I have been mentally strong. They told me to be emotionally strong. I have been emotionally strong. We have done all what that they said we should do. We are doing it. But yes, still people are dying. The only solution that we have is to lift up our voice to the sky and call on God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. And I know with him, mankind will be saved. This is the only assurance that we have as children of the living Lord. 
And the Bible is said that we should turn to him. And if the whole world can turn to him, he will save us. Verse 23, I have sworn by myself, the word, let's just say the word, the word, the word, has gone forth from my mouth in righteousness and will not return back. That to me, every knee will bow. Every tongue will answer allegiance. They will say of me, only in the Lord are righteousness and strength. Hallelujah! My word that has come is the only word that can save mankind. And every kneel is bowing. It doesn't matter your religion. It doesn't matter your what you worship. It doesn't matter your denominational background. Every kneel is bowing. Because the strength is only in God. In God alone do we have our strength. Men will come to him. And all who were angry at him will be put to shame. Verse 25. In the Lord, all the offspring of Israel will be justified and glory. Hallelujah. In him, there's going to be a justification. We will come out. I see all of us coming out and worshiping God again in the room. We will come out. We will come out. It is just for a while. We will come out. If the whole world can cry up and call out unto God, we will come out. And we will meet again our loved ones. We will meet again our families. We will meet again our working colleagues. No human being, I was telling one of my son this morning, that the most difficult thing to do for man is to restrict his or her movement. You can easily kill somebody by restricting him not to move. You are gifted, you are talented, you are anointed. But you can't do anything. You are restricted. You can die. The quarantine alone can kill you. It is up to a certain period of time. When that time passes, you can't control it again. One week, fine. Two weeks, fine. Three weeks, fine. Four weeks, maybe we can. Five weeks, six weeks, I tell you. Something is going to hit you. Now, people start to call me, Papi, is there any test service? Where is test service? You are not a church. People don't even know test service meeting again. Thursday, somebody call me, Papa. Thursday, are we meeting? I say, since when did you meet here Thursday? They can't take it again. They can't take it any longer. Let us call on unto the Lord. Hallelujah. It is time to apply the word. It's time to apply the word. In crisis, children of God need to think differently. When we come to a moment and in times like that, we need to change the way we think. You can't think like anybody how you used to think. The thinking needs to change because everything has changed. You can't hold on to the old system. You must think now into the word. What the word is saying, what we should do. So when we come to in times of crisis, children of the Lord, we need to think differently. Crisis is a source of creativity under pressure. This is the time that the real you can come out. This is the time that your real creativity needs to come out. Because you are under pressure. What are you doing inside home? Stay home, stay safe. Stay home, what are you doing? Mankind has only survived anything positive and valid, strong and tangible, only when man is in higher crisis. Let your creativity come out now. This is the time that you can come up with something very powerful. Hallelujah. Any crisis you can think about in life, crisis is the incubator for innovation and a womb for creativity. Now, all what that God Almighty destined you to be and to do. Now is the time that you have incubated enough. Bring it out. This is the time to write new songs. This is the time for the church to sing new songs. 
everything now has failed us. By the time we are out, we want to experience God in a very special way as never before. This is the time. It is an incubator. Any time that you see crisis, I told you last week that let them call it crisis, we will call it opportunity. Let them call it fear, we will call it faith. Let them depress and we will dance. Hallelujah. We can do that only when we apply the word. This is the time to apply the word. Hallelujah. For in all things, in all things, in all things and in all things, ladies and gentlemen, I came to announce to somebody this afternoon that in all things, give thanks and praise to the Lord for that is the will of the Lord concerning your life. Hallelujah. In all things. Don't think that you have incubated for many years that doesn't come out. It is only time of crisis that you can bring it out. Hallelujah. We need to think differently. We think differently. God spoke to me last Wednesday night after prayer when we went home. And then he told me that now the people that we thought that they are smart. Though that we depended and relied and we laid on. That they are too smart. Now they don't also don't know what to do. So he gave me something to tell the church. That when the smartest don't know what to do, it is better to hook up to someone who is smarter. When I'm gone, you understand me. Don't that think that they are smartest. They are highly sophisticated. They know how people, they have something. When they themselves doesn't know what to do. When they don't know what to do. It's better find someone that you can hook on up to. That is more smarter than you. And that is our Lord, our God, and our Master Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, turn to me and I will save you. Which country has ever now made an announcement that we should turn to them, they can help us. Those that are suffering death all over, which president has come out that tell to America, America will help you. Tell to Italy, Italy will help you. Who has been able to come out? When the smartest doesn't know what to do, when they don't know what to do, it's better hang up to the one that is smarter. And that is God. That is God. That is God. Hang up unto him. His word is so sure. That he will never disappoint you. Hallelujah. The kingdom of heaven is never in crisis. The kingdom in heaven, there is no crisis there. So if you really want to hook up, hang around, rely and lay on anything here now, I will challenge you ladies and gentlemen, this is the time to hook up to God. This is the time to call up on him. This is the time to rely and depend on him. Solely dependent on him. Hallelujah. This is the time. This is the time to depend on him. Because the kingdom of heaven has never suffered crisis. When the whole world is in crisis, heaven, there is no crisis there. God has never failed his people before. And he's not going to fail his people. He never failed us. And he will never, he's not going to fail you. He has never done it before. And he's not going to do it again. Hallelujah. Only things that God will do it again are the things that he has done before. Anywhere that plague has ever entered here in this world, God came up and there was a solution. If God has never disappointed his children, you are not going to be disappointed. Hallelujah. God never failed his children. And you are not going to be failed. Hallelujah. In times like this is the time to apply the word. Apply the truth. In the spoken word. Apply the truth. In the written word. This is the time. To go back to the archives in your spirit. The word that I've been stored. Because we are not meeting. I was told from my childhood. That I should be my brother's keeper. Iron sharpen iron. But now when I meet my iron. I can't sharpen him with a handshake. I can't sharpen my brother with a, a kiss. I can't sharpen my brother with a hug. 
So now the only strength you have in you is the one that is in you. One of our local sons, I love that lie. He says, that is how he is. He is closer to us more than our brothers. I am a boo, tatin. Mitchem, nimi, gwa, kobia. Wabe, mitchem, mada, fosa. If you say I am a Buddha, hey, Nicham, Nibiba, Gobia, hey, Oba, Mitchat, Mata, Fosa, Nayesu. Desert you. I can't come near you. I am both thirteen. He is your rock and your refuge. He is the only one that we can run to. He is closer to you, more than a brother. If you can shake the hands of your brother, shake the hands of Jesus. He's closer to you. I am a boat and team. Mitchell, Makarusati, a para kandaya. Hey, I got a boat. Children of God grow, they increase, and they multiply. And they spread and they expand. The crisis does not stop God's word. The word of God to us 2020 declares that you will expand. There is still expansion at your door. Hallelujah. Where there is crisis, that is where that we grow. That is the time that we expand. That is the time that we see greatest enlargement. So the Lord, where there is crisis, that is the time. That we grow. Go and ask the church of Jesus Christ in AD 33. It was persecution, killing, and torturing that caused the church to spread all over the world. This is the time for you to expand. This is the time for you to spread. This is the time for you to become a big as God Almighty has destined you to be. Hallelujah. It's time to apply the word. It's time. To apply the word. And in all this crisis. When you don't know what to do. God has secret keys. For you. A special keys. God has such an extraordinary keys. An undeniable keys. An infallible keys. An undisputed keys. For his children. To succeed. In times of crisis. In times of trouble, you don't just walk around and say, Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. He says that heaven and earth will pass away, but my word not going to pass away. I've given you a key, not a key, not singular, plural, of the kingdom of heaven and the earth. When the earth becomes so hard for you, there are keys. When the word becomes so hard for you, and you don't know what to do. There are keys, ladies and gentlemen. There are keys. I have given you keys. And this keys was so ever that you use that key to open anything here on this earth. Have you so respond to you? Hallelujah. I have a keys. I have a keys. So when you don't just walk around without knowing a key, when you have a key, you have an access, you have an authority, you have a chance. You have opportunity to enter into a different place. Hallelujah. Everything they told us is not working. The thing they say we should do is not working. It means the one on the earth has reached its extremity. The best scientists, the professors, the doctors, the know-how people, everything that they told
taught us to do, it is not working. And if it is not working, if the system on earth is not working, it is better to have some peace to unlock to the other realms. That is heaven. If the earth system is not working, there is a place that has colonized the earth. There is a place that caused the earth to exist. So this is the reason why I came here, applying the word. Hallelujah. When the keys of earth has been exhausted, its strength has failed. Its power has failed. Its knowledge has failed. He says, I will give you another one. That when the earth is no more functioning, you need to go to a different realm. And then go there and download something and come back to the earth. For he came from heaven to the earth to show us the way. Isn't it? Isn't that a song that you used to sing? He came from heaven to the earth to do what? To show us the way. That a time will come. The earth is going to be too hot. But when the earth got too hot for mankind, and mankind doesn't know what to do, there are keys that I am going to give it to you. Use the keys to unlock where your realms are and download something and use it on physical realm. Hallelujah. And that's why I'm here. It's time to apply the word. You don't just walk around and say, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. It's not praise the Lord, praise the Lord time. It's time to move, know something. The word is praying. Everyone is praying. In a moment like this, after prayer, you need to watch and pray. You need to do what? Watch and pray. If not, you can pray and bind coronavirus. You can bind, you can lose. You can test, you can boot, you can bite. You can do everything. But if you don't know the keys to live in the midst of crisis, still you will be in the midst of crisis. You are not immune to the crisis. You are in it. But if you know the word, the word tells us that it will come, but it will not come near you. So you are praying and say that, hey, I've seen you, but you cannot come near me. It's time to apply the word. It's time to appropriate the word. It is time to let the word God Almighty be as it is. Hallelujah. This is the time to apply the word. It's not just walking around. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. No. Use the word to confront the situation. When the hardest time came, you use the word to overcome it. If the hardest time has come, use the word also to overcome. Hallelujah. It's time to apply the word. It's time. It's time. Any nation that can rise up and apply the word, there will be solution for them. Any family that can stand up and apply the word, there will be safety for them. It's time to apply the word. It's time to apply it. The nation that saw it very fast and declared fasting for the nation. A covenant of God to come and pray. They are dying all right, but you can't compare the whole continent to the whole world. Death. They apply the word. The answer is the word. Hallelujah. If Jesus Christ is the word, then he is the answer. The answer is the word. It's time to apply the word. If you don't know certain keys, you stand behind your own door and you'll be arrested. I am born again. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. How do we serve him? I'm giving you keys. When higher time came, this is what I did. So in your time, when a higher time come, this is what you need to do. Get these keys. Whatsoever that you will do here in this earth, heaven will respond. This is the key. And what are you doing? Apply the word. Use the word. Say something what the word says. Say something what the word says. And what is the key? Jesus Christ taught me a very powerful parable about two guys and this thing anytime when I think about two of them it amazes me in the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse number 24 that two guys went out 
They were all Christians, born again, spirit filled, speaking tongues. They went out, Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. Therefore, everyone who hear these words of mine, let's just say these words of mine. These words of mine. This is the time to apply the word. He says, everyone, everyone, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, it is everyone. It doesn't matter your spiritual level. It doesn't matter your societal status. It doesn't matter your craft. It doesn't matter your wisdom. It doesn't matter your knowledge. It doesn't matter what you have been made up with. This is the time to apply the word. Everyone, everyone who hears these words of mine. Everyone. And put them into practice. Put them into his pocket. Paste it on the wall. Hide it. Everyone who hear these words of mine and put them into practice. Underscore it. Practicing something is applying it. If you hear these words of mine and you can put them into practice. Practicing something is applying it. It's like a wise man who built his house on a rock. The rain came down. The streams rose. The winds blew. And beat against that house. And beat against that house. You don't determine when coronavirus will come. When the rain came, it beats that house. When the rain is falling... It beat that house. The only difference between your beating and other people they are beating is that you are applying the word. It is beating everyone. I can assure you by the message of God that none of us will be a victim. There shall be no casualty among us. So far that you apply the word and you take the precautions, there is nothing that can happen to you. Hallelujah. Because the rain came down the storms rose. Tempest come. It beats the house. Now, where you built it will determine whether you stand or you fall. Where you build that house will determine whether you stand or you fall. I just might say that those that hear these words of mine and put them into practice. I will like them and I will lead them. I will equate them to a wise man that built his house on the rock. The rain will come. But what are you building on? Apply the word, ladies and gentlemen. This is the time to apply the word. It hit against the house. Yet, it did not fall. I am under the obligation to come and tell you that coronavirus will not let you fall. You are not going to fall. So long and so far that you can apply the word, ladies and gentlemen, any part of this word that you are under the sound of my voice, I, make, I have an announcement this afternoon to make to you that there shall be no casualty among us. So far as that you build it on the rock of Jesus, the solid rock that we stand, there shall be no fall. Hallelujah. There shall be no fall. It yet it did not fall. Why did it it fail? Because it had its foundation on the rock. It's time. And the rock is Jesus. If only you can apply the word. The rock is him. It's time to apply the word. It's time to apply the word, ladies and gentlemen. And if you look at the other one. When it came, there was a fall. But everyone who hear this verse of mine and does not put them into practice, it's like a foolish man who built his house on the sun. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the wind blew, and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. 
Why would it fall? The difference is where that it was being built. For building, you can build. You can build all vaccinations. You can do whatever that you want to do. But ladies and gentlemen, unless the Lord God Almighty build the house, the builders build it in vain. And the Lord God Almighty protect the house. They protect it, they protect it in vain. This triumphant entry, I am here this afternoon to challenge you. Triumph over everything that is knocking at your door. Hallelujah. Go over and override it in the name of Jesus. I have a message for somebody this day. There are keys. We don't just walk around and say God is good, God is good. There are keys to apply. The secret of this key is management. Management. This is the time that you should apply heavily key. The first key God gave to mankind is the key of management. As everybody is saying, hey, it's wild. The thing is tough. It's very difficult. It's fear. Manage. It's a secret. Now, if you have 10,000 in your accounts, it's of no value. Go to any grocery shop and want to buy something. You can't buy more than what you want. Management. Maybe I'll come back again next time. But this key, if you really know it, you'll be blessed. What is management? I define management in so many adjectives that it will take me the next six months. I won't still finish. But let me pick this much more for you. That this short period of time, you can be able to manage certain things. Management is effective. And I score the word effective, efficient, the word efficient, correct, and timely use of another person's property and resources for the purpose of which they were delegated with a view to producing the expected added value. Take your time and pick it one by one on the screen. It's effective. Efficient, correct, and timely. It is standard sort on my side. Use of another person's property. Anything you have, you are a custodian. It doesn't belong to you. So the one that is at your disposal at the moment, you must be able to use it effectively. Efficiently. Use it correctly. And the time that you need to use it, be extra careful. Be extra careful. The timing. This is the wisdom in the kingdom. How to use what in when. How to use what in when. This is the time. Check the timing very careful. Because anything you have, you have just been delegated. And you must have a view of producing and add value to the little that is at your disposal at the moment. That is the word management. That is the first key God gave to man. When God made man. Because God knew that a time of crisis will come. A time of pandemic disease will break out the whole world. There is going to be an epidemic COVID. That the world cannot stand. In God's wisdom, he gave us this key of management. Last two weeks, Mama dealt with the management. That is the time to really economize things. There are things to know about the power of management. There are things to know. There are things really to know. You can't just walk around and say, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Without making very good use of what is at your disposal. And I come to challenge everyone that is under the sound of my voice. But this is the time to really come back to your God. By applying the keys in the kingdom. And the whole world cannot help us again. Let's go back to our source. Of our resources. Hallelujah. Management. The first thing that you do. The management is the primary goal of mankind. When God Almighty make man. Your main objective. Your main goal is to manage. 
Nothing belongs to you. It's to manage. Genesis chapter 2 verse 5. Before any plant of the field was in the earth, and before any herb of the field had grown, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain on the earth. Why? Because there was no man to till the ground. God did not allow any rain to come to earth after God making everything beautiful. Because he knows that when he rains, nobody can till the ground, nobody can manage it for him. So God hold on till he made a man. He made all of us to come and manage the little thing that is at our disposal. And this is the time to apply the skill of the key of the management. But use it things effectively. Use it things effectively. If we are eating three square meals four times a day, stop. Hunger doesn't kill. You can't be eating the way you used to eat. Apply the word now. Man shall not live by bread. Apply the word now. Keep the hammer off. Take the food that you can eat. Don't throw food away. Take as much that you can eat. It is time for us to manage the resources God has given to us. Effectively and efficiently and timely. Knowing it effectively. God will not give you what you pray for. He will rather give you what you can manage. The things you cannot manage, God will not give it to you. He gave you 500. What did you do with it? And you are now asking for 10 million. If you 500, you couldn't even pay tight. And now you are asking for 10,000. He says, manage it if even 1%. My 1% even you took it. God has never given to mankind what mankind pray for. With the exception of what mankind can manage. God cannot give you more than you can handle. Hallelujah. That is the key. I pray, I bind and I lose. Yes, you are binding, you are praying, you are break. What are you watching? As we have stopped the venom of coronavirus, what is our watch? The first thing to watch is management. Why there's no management, you can forget it. I tell you, the whole world president that are confused, parliament and anyone that is listening to me, there is no one cent that has left on planet earth. Every money that was on earth is still here in this earth. Money hasn't left on earth. Hallelujah. Where has money gone? It is here on earth, but now it doesn't have any value. So what you can manage are the things God will give to you. This is the time to really economize. And when I study economics, I study so many things about the economy. And I want to simplify it in very simple language for you. To maximize the minimum. The little that is there, maximize it. Economize. Every home must learn how to economize certain things. They are certain you need to cut it off. Those that had planned to travel to Miami, to go to Olab, to go and visit different places, that it was part of your plan, 2020. Tell your husband, tell your wife that this is not the time. It's time to fast to manage. In Time of crisis, we don't put pressure on one another. Stop putting pressure on your husband. And stop putting pressure on your wife. Kind the hammer off. Stop putting pressure on mama and papa now. We need to now do things that are needed. Things that are necessary. Things that are important. Because how long is going to take? Till now, nobody can tell us. Let us be wise. Let her be smart in this time. Hallelujah. Cancel any other appointment and go by the things that are needed. This is the kingdom key. That is God's wisdom.
You must be able to economize the little that is at home now. Some workers are getting 60%. But the meter has not been reduced. Start to economize, ladies and gentlemen. To get the most out of the least. The little that you have, you must get the most out of it. Start to economize. At your age, you are eating four times a day. What is wrong with you? Drink water and sleep. Nothing will happen to you. Hunger doesn't kill any human being. Do you have water at home? Take water. Fill in with some of your menus with water. Don't go and eat anyhow. If you want to eat, eat the best. At appropriate time. Hallelujah. That is management. That is management. God does not encourage waste. God hates waste. There is no way that God is happy when people are wasting his resources. You take a food that you can't eat and you throw the rest away. And you say you are buying the coronavirus. A time will come, things are going to be very hard. Even if the ban is being lifted, when they lift the ban, things are going to be very hard. They are time to come to our senses and apply the rules in the kingdom. This is the time to apply the word. The time to apply the word. God hates waste. Do you remember the feeling of the 5,000 in the book of Matthew chapter 14 verse 13? After Jesus Christ has fed them, he told them that, hey guys, bring me the rest. My father hates waste. If the crumbs, the rest, were not packed, will we be able to know that we got 12 baskets? The same chapter, verse 14, the field of 4,000. If he did not gather the rest, will we know that we got the rest of seven baskets? God hates waste. God never encouraged waste. Don't put pressure on your husband. Don't put any pressure on your wife now. Let me come back home, mama. My daughter and my son, this is not time to buy clothes. This is not time to buy shoes. Go into your wardrobe. There are a lot of things there that this time you can still wear. Go in there. Those that are overgrowing your body, reduce, reduce your weight and slim and wear some of the old things. Hallelujah. Some of the shoes need to be wear for another six months. Don't put pressure on each other now. I'll apply the kingdom key. It is only the wise people that after the storm, we will know whether they will stand or they will fall. I know you have a plan. But when, you can never talk about management and forget about timing. Is the time right? Is the time correct now? It's a wrong time. 2020, it's a wrong time. Change it. If you don't go to the whole lobby, so what? Change. Some of the dresses are very nice. You can still wear them all. It is you. Some of the shoes, you can still wear them. Look at, look at under the bed. I see what is there. I'll start to visit all of you one by one. And see how you are arranging things. You must make effective use of what is available at the moment. Hallelujah. That is management. That is management. God hates waste. Now we need to decide what to do with the resources of God. What are we going to do with the resources of God? Don't spend so much now on something that you don't need. Spend only on the things that you need, not the things that you want. Let me dichotomize between the two. You want so many things that of a truth, you don't need them now. Manage the little that is there now. 
If you want to be a very good manager, check your timing and your efficiency. Because you are accountable. You are accountable. I don't want us to come out from this crisis and then we begin to weep again on God. Let heavens open. Heavens open one. Heavens open last year for us. And there's enough. Now it hasn't gone too far. So let me sign my warning and my alarm now. Before you finish wondering what God has given to you. It is the principle. It is the key in the kingdom. Management. In times of crisis. This is the time. And it is only those people that can manage. That can make it. In the course. Within and after. Only those people that can stand strong and firm. Are the people that can manage. Let us come out from lost risk now. And begin to make sure. Hallelujah. It's time to apply the word. It's time to apply the word. When the time came that the man was coming to enter into Jerusalem, it was written concerning him in the word. So they start to praise him. They apply the word. What are you applying? Maybe I'll continue some time later about management. But God made you, every human being, God made you as a manager. Look, open your eyes and see the word very careful. Man, age, meant. This age, this era that we are in, any man, if you really want to make means met nicely, you need to manage. That's where we get the word from. Man, age, meant. The era, the dispensation, where we have so many things tough. Take the time to manage. We are not going to fast because maybe we don't have food. We have enough food at home. But it is necessity. We are going to apply the word. Seven days, we are going to declare for ourselves. To go to the Passion Week. I know you are laughing. You are very happy. From Monday, we are going to start our seven days again. Till Resurrection Sunday. And then we all break it together. Hallelujah. Manage. One of the principles of managing is ability to go away from pleasure and leisure. That is fasting. And we are coming. We are coming seven days. We are coming seven days. We have been eating and eating and eating. Far from January to now. Now stop seven days for me, church. And let us begin to pray. I'm going to give you the quotation after the service. And then we are going to pray together. Hallelujah. After praying, you must do what? Watch. Watch and pray. Your number one thing to watch when you are praying is management. Everybody is praying, but they are not telling us what to do in the midst of the crisis. And I'm telling you what to do in the midst of crisis. Anywhere you go, baya, bata, baya, 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 baya. It as much that I'm a man of prayer. There are certain principles. It doesn't go with prayer. Pray. Let us pray. Maya, 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 maya. And watch. What are you watching? Management. When the time comes for us to pray, we will break and bind the loose. But when the time for us to watch, what should we watch? What should we watch? Come to me. Come. And I will save you. I'm coming to the end of my message this afternoon. But this is the message that God Almighty gave it to me. Come and tell you. That if you look up unto him. The author and the finisher of your faith. He's not going to disappoint you. Neither will he. Discard you. Because I have a message from the Lord. And this message. Says that look up unto him and you live. Look and live. My brother live. Look to Jesus now and live. It is recorded in His Word. Hallelujah. It is only that you look and live. Look and live. Sister Lee, look to.
of our faith none of us can stand i have a message from the lord hallelujah the message unto you i give it is recorded in this word hallelujah it is only that you look Early. I look early, my brother. I look to Jesus now. Early. It is recorded in His word. Hallelujah. Only do. Look at If you take your eye out of Jesus, possibility of you living is going to be very difficult. About five million people in the church in the wilderness. They also children of God, children of God. That came out of slavery and difficulties and hard time. And they were going. They also had an encounter that people started dying. By an uncommon and an unusual snake biting them and killing them. But God in his wisdom gave a strong directive to Moses, the pastor. That make a broad serpent up there. And any man that is being bitten by a snake, when they can look up unto him, they will leave. I don't know who I came to speak to this afternoon. But if you can look up unto Jesus, that was a typology and simplifying Jesus Christ come to die on the cross. If today, you can also lift up your eyes unto Jesus, you will leave. It is being bitten by all of us. Sometimes, that the sanitizers alone cannot help you. I read another article. Somebody at home, he hasn't gone out for the past month, but he has got coronavirus. It tells you that nowhere he is safe. The only way that he is safe is Jesus Christ. Look and live. My brother, live. Look to Jesus now. Is recorded in his word. Hallelujah. It is only that you look early. My sister, look early. My sister, look. Look to Jesus now. In his word, hallelujah. It is only that you look. Why is it recorded? Why is it recorded? It is recorded in his word, hallelujah. Why is it recorded? It is only that you look early. We shall. Look, I live. My brother, live. Look to Jesus. Jesus now, I live. Oh. It is recorded in His Word. Hallelujah. Masaka do sadas. Maybe you are not sure of your salvation. 
Or maybe you don't know you know Jesus Christ that you can look up unto him and leave. Another great opportunity is coming to you this afternoon. If I've not accepted him as your Lord and personal Savior, say, Brother Collins, I want to look up or to do Jesus personally. Put your left hand on your chest and your right hand up. And pray this simple prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. Forgive me from all my iniquities I've sinned against you. My Lord and my God, I've come before thee this afternoon. I've known that without you, life is meaningless. Cleanse me and wash me. Purify me and wash me as white as snow. Today, I accept you as my Lord and my personal Savior. From today on, I want to eat at your table. Thank you for accepting me. Even now and forever. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And if you are here and you are not sure of your salvation, in this time, in this moment, anything at all is possible. If anything happened to you right now, are you sure of where you are going? If you are not sure, then look up unto Jesus Christ and leave. Because it is written in his word that what at all shall profit a man if you gain the whole world and lose your soul. There is a day of accountability. There is a day of judgment. If you are not sure of your salvation, this is the hour. Lord, I pray for strength. As many that are weak, may you strengthen them. May you empower them, O oh Lord, and re-energize us, re-fire us again with your spirit. Holy Ghost, rekindle yourself once again in us. Enable us to stand on our feet in this evil days, O oh Lord. Thank you for being our Lord. In the name of Jesus. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Lift up your offering. Pray over it. And then let us offer to the Lord quickly before we leave the house. We are going to dance. Last week I told you that it is only geographical location that has changed. God hasn't changed. And in his wisdom he knew that the time will come people are going to be restricted not to move. So he moved the geographical location to universal location. Hallelujah. That the time is coming and now the time has come. When the true worshippers need to worship the Father in spirit and in truth. The same way you dance when you come to church. Don't let anything forbid you not to dance. I want you to stand up together with your wife and your husband. Dance, look at the number that is coming on your screen and then give your tithe, give your offering to it. As men that want to see me during the weekdays, Tuesday to Friday, I'll be here from 10 o'clock to 8 o'clock. Come and let me pray for you. But if not, there's a screen. The number is there on your screen. Please use the church account and then sow all your seed in it. We are going to dance. Lift up your handkerchief. Today is Hosanna. And dance the next 15 minutes in your room and together with your family. Just that is glory. Just that is glory. For the Lord deserve our praise. For the Lord deserve our praise. Just that is glory.
is our praise. Oh, the Lord Almighty God, you alone deserve our praise. You alone deserve our praise. You alone deserve our praise. Oh, the Lord Almighty God, you alone deserve our praise. We will praise thy holy name. You have won us victory. We will praise thy holy name. You have won us victory. The Lamb of God was slain. He is worthy to be praised. Oh, Lamb of God, we will praise thy hope. Oh, the Lamb of God, the Lamb of God was slain. He is worthy to be praised. Oh, Lamb of God, we will praise thy hope. Oh, Jehovah, I'm 
white people clap your hands Clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands It's a fun Sunday Oh, so you're not 
We thank you for the work being done in the lives of your people. Black stands of any man who that have given it to your kingdom in hundred folds and in thousand folds. There is nothing that we have that is not you that gave it to us. We are much grateful unto you, O Lord. Lord, I pray that as they have sown into your kingdom, Lord, it is you that see the unseen. It is you that reach the unrich. May you reach as many people that have given it to your kingdom, even now or forever, in hundred folds. And in thousand folds, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have come to the end of our service today. We have only one simple announcement. Starting from tomorrow, tomorrow, being the, on the seas of April 2020, we are going to embark on prayer again. As we are watching, we are praying. As we are praying, we are watching. Watch and pray. Pray and watch. Seven days fasting commence tomorrow, exactly six to six. And Sunday, Resurrection Sunday, you will break it. Hallelujah. And we are picking from Psalm 51. Psalm 51, Psalms of David. Psalm 51. When David, when Nathan the prophet went to him, after he has gone into Bathsheba, the prophet came to him and he gave me a mystery. And then we are going to meditate on this the whole week, about almost 19 verses. We are going to meditate on it every blessed day. Do you just pick only two verses and meditate and meditate and meditate? Keep on praying. Hallelujah. But on Wednesday, as early as 7 o'clock, we will meet here for the Passion Week. We are still in the Easter week now. That's the Passion Week. And Friday is Good Friday. Friday is Good Friday. And Good Friday. We won't come here in the night. We will come here normal church service between 11 to 2 o'clock. So, Good Friday, we are going to have our normal service between 11 to 2 o'clock. Look at it as it is there on the screen, the date. Wednesday is 7 to 9. And then Friday, 11 to 2. And Sunday, normal time, 11 to 2 o'clock. Hallelujah. But on Friday, we are going to have a communion. It's Good Friday, the Lord's Supper, we are going to have it again. So please prepare yourself biscuit, bread, anything at all you have at home, and find a drink together with it. I will serve you communion again on Good Friday. And then when you are ready, you let me know that you are ready. And then I serve you. Bible says that anywhere I see the blood, I will pass over. We will continue to dine with the Lord till we see the move of Him. With this, I say, may the Lord bless you all, keep you and protect you, guide you, and lift you up above all your peers. May the goodness of the Lord continue to overshadow you and your heart home. We plead the blood all over your doorpost and your lintel, that none of us will be a casualty. And as Isaiah declared, that come unto me and you will be saved, all ye the earth. I pray that you run unto the Lord and manage the little that God has given to you. Until we meet next week, Wednesday, May the peace of God that surpasses all human understanding be your portion. I pray that the Lord God Almighty speak on your behalf. May the angels of the Lord engulf around all of you and encamp around you. May they hold you in the palms of their hands. May you never dash your feet against any stone, even now and forever. In Jesus Christ, the most wonderful name. As many that to go to any place, may favor go before you. May the Lord God Almighty level every mountain on your behalf. May the impossibilities tend to become possible for you, even now or forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Share the grace with your wife or your husband. May the grace of our Lord, Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I love you all. God bless you. Give your wife a high five for me, a kiss, a hug, and tell them how much we love them. Wednesday, 7, 7 o'clock, we will meet you. Hallelujah. Enjoy our music director, Daniel, as you worship with us for the next 10 minutes. Hallelujah.
set my feet up on the rock now we know yeah
final teacher, oh, I said no. One mountain and more, oh, I said no. Yes.